Hey everyone, welcome back to My Apple Zone. And in this video, I'm going to be uh, doing a tour and review of the Mac App Store. So let's get started. So Apple finally launched the Mac App Store. And the first thing you need to do to use the Mac App Store is upgrade to Mac OS 10.6.6. So if you haven't done that yet, just simply go to Software Update and update uh, Mac OS 10 to 10.6.6. And after you do that, you'll have a new icon in your dock right here called the App Store. Just click on that to launch it. And the App Store opens up. First thing you'll notice, it looks a lot like the App Store for the iPhone, uh, the iPad, and the iPod Touch. When you launch the App Store, it uh, starts off on the Featured page. You can go to Top of Charts. Uh, you have categories that you can choose from. Uh, you can look at your purchases. And I've already purchased one application already. And then there's updates. It'll check for updates. Uh, a lot of the big software developers have not included their applications on the Mac App Store as of yet, so that's a little bit of a disappointment. Uh, I was hoping to uh, see a larger selection of applications on the Mac App Store. But one thing that I did notice, uh, for example, is Aperture 3 right now, which is normally a $199 application, is on sale for $79.99. I don't know if that uh, price is going to last forever or if it's just an introductory price but that's you're saving over a hundred dollars on Aperture 3. One thing that you will notice that if an application is already installed on your computer it will indicate that. Uh, as you can see iPhoto is already installed, Flight Control HD, Pages, uh, iMovie. So how does the application purchase process work? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at Angry Birds. Um, Again, you get all the detailed information, just like you uh, would on the uh, iPad or the iPhone or the iPad Touch. And we'll go ahead and buy the application. And just like on uh, all your mobile devices, it'll ask for your user ID and password. You sign in. And you see the little icon drop down in there. And if you look at your dock, you'll see that Angry Birds is downloading. And you can go to Purchases. And there it is. So Angry Birds has uh, completed downloading. So I'll go to the uh, dock and launch Angry Birds. So that was Angry Birds. As you can tell, the, the graphics were a lot better because it's running on the um, my MacBook Pro. Uh, got more of a display space, so of course the application is going to be bigger and it's going to take advantage of the faster processor. So a lot of a lot of advantages of of playing these games now on a actual desktop or laptop. One thing that is uh, missing from the App Store are demos and betas. Uh, Apple's policy currently is no demo applications or beta applications. However, there are free applications. Here's a free application right here and, and, another, and another one right here. But demos and betas are missing in action as well. Um, don't really understand Apple's policy uh, regarding that. Don't really agree with it. I think demos and betas help to promote uh, developers' applications, and I hope uh, Apple changes their policy on that. And again, I hope we see some of the larger developers show up uh, in the future. Right now, the App Store is off to a, a fairly decent start. Again, not a lot of selection, but uh, it's really nice. You can now download applications directly to your laptop or your desktop. Uh, what do you guys think of the Mac App Store? Leave a comment down below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? What do you think needs to be improved? I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. So uh, let us know. Leave a comment down below. So thanks, you guys, for stopping by and checking out this uh, 
demo and tour of the Mac App Store. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And if you have any questions about this video, leave a comment down below. And again, everyone, I really appreciate you stopping by. And until next time, I will talk to you later.